The summer of 2023 unfolded like a masterpiece painted with the vibrant strokes of possibility. Within the heart of that season's tapestry, my life found its rhythm, pulsating with the secrecy of a hidden melody. I am Daniel, a 20-year-old whose soul danced on the precipice of curiosity and restraint, my heart's cadence a symphony of clandestine desires. Nestled within the sanctuary of my Aunt Marianne's home, I reveled in the sweet freedom to be myself in a world that often demanded conformity. Marianne, an eccentric soul with an open mind, provided me a haven where my true essence could flourish, a haven where my curiosity knew no bounds. It was here that my clandestine passion took root, a fascination that beckoned me into the enigmatic realm of cross-dressing. The allure of feminine clothing, each piece a delicate brushstroke on the canvas of self-expression, held me captive. My heart raced at the touch of satin against my skin, the intricate patterns of lace igniting a fire within me that defied explanation. Among the treasures of my aunt's belongings, it was her collection of bras that intrigued me the most. Each bra seemed to possess its own story, a tale whispered to me as I delicately explored their textures and designs. Behind the closed door of my room, I surrendered to the intoxicating call of my desires. As the sunlight filtered through the curtains, I would don the forbidden attire, each garment a bridge connecting me to an aspect of myself that society had deemed forbidden. The feeling was indescribable an awakening that swept away the mundanity of my days and transported me to a world where I could embrace my identity without reservation. Yet for all the exhilaration, a shroud of unease lingered. The fear of exposure was a shadow that danced in the corners of my mind, a relentless reminder that the world beyond my sanctuary might not be as accepting as Marianne. Summer heat mirrored the intensity of my desires, which burned brighter with each passing day. I teetered on the precipice of revelation, yearning for a life where I could intertwine my masculine and feminine selves without fear or judgment. I longed for a world that would allow me to paint my own identity, free from the confines of societal expectations. As the summer sun cast its golden glow, fate prepared to unfurl its grand tapestry. A moment of revelation, an unexpected discovery loomed on the horizon— a discovery that would unmask my secret desires, laying them bare before the world. Little did I know that this revelation would test the bonds of family, redefine acceptance, and propel me on a journey of self-discovery that would forever shape the tapestry of my life. The air that day carried an unusual weight, as if the universe itself sensed the impending upheaval. It was a day that began like any other, bathed in the soft hues of morning light. I stood at the threshold of my secret haven, the room that had witnessed my transformation into an uncharted realm of self-discovery. Little did I know that this day would mark the unraveling of my carefully woven cocoon. Lost in the enchantment of cross-dressing, I felt the silky embrace of lace against my skin. The gentle rustle of fabric was a symphony of liberation, and I reveled in the freedom to be both Daniel and the enigmatic persona I had come to embrace. My fingers lingered over the intricate patterns of Marianne's bras, each delicate stitch a testament to the artistry of femininity. As I stood before the mirror, captivated by the unfamiliar reflection, a shadow cast by the open door tore my gaze away. Panic gripped my heart like an icy hand, and I froze, my senses on high alert. Marianne, back early from her errands, stood in the doorway, her eyes locking onto the scene before her. Caught in the act, my world came crashing down around me. The silence in the room was palpable, a thick tension that threatened to swallow me whole. My cheeks burned with humiliation, my mind racing to find words that could somehow explain the inexplicable. I felt as exposed as the delicate fabric against my skin, a secret now laid bare before the only person who might understand or condemn me. Marianne's gaze held a mixture of surprise, concern, and something else, a glint of empathy that sent a tremor through my fragile defenses. I awaited the inevitable reprimand, the judgment that would surely follow, but her words were not what I expected. Danny, she said softly, her voice a tender reassurance that shattered my assumptions. I've known. 
My heart skipped a beat, disbelief warring with relief. The weight of my secret had been shared, and the very person I had feared discovering my clandestine desires had already known all along. A wave of emotions washed over me, vulnerability, uncertainty, but also a surprising connection to Marianne that I had never anticipated. With a gentle smile, Marianne walked into the room, her presence a calming balm for my wounded soul. She spoke of her own journey, her path towards acceptance, and the moments of self-discovery that had led her to embrace her uniqueness. Her words wove a tapestry of understanding, erasing the isolation that had kept me captive for so long. As the sun began its descent, we sat together, Marianne's hand on my shoulder a reassurance of the bond that had deepened between us. The revelation of my secret had transformed the room into a sanctuary of shared stories, where acceptance bloomed like the flowers in Marianne's garden. Our conversations shifted from the shock of discovery to the exploration of our identities, two souls intertwined by the threads of vulnerability and understanding. With the passage of time, the weight of my secret felt lighter, replaced by the freedom to be myself without reservation. The discovery that I was not alone in my journey, that Marianne stood beside me as a guiding light, gave me the courage to navigate the uncharted waters of the days that lay ahead. With the passage of time, the weight of my secret felt lighter, replaced by the freedom to be myself without reservation. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over our surroundings, Marianne and I sat on the porch, a comfortable silence enveloping us. Yet beneath the calm, an undercurrent of anticipation pulsed in the air, a quiet understanding that there were conversations left to be had. As if sensing the unspoken, Marianne's gaze held a gentle reassurance. Danny, she began, her voice soft and inviting, I want you to know that there's no need for any embarrassment between us. My cheeks flushed, my heart echoing her sentiment. Marianne's warmth acted as a comforting embrace, urging me to open up further. Thank you, Marianne, I said, gratitude lacing my words. It's just, there's so much I've never really talked about before. She nodded, her eyes encouraging me to continue. I've always liked women's clothing, but I don't know why, I began, my voice tinged with vulnerability. Marianne's smile remained, a beacon of understanding that beckoned me to reveal more. Danny, you're exploring a dimension of yourself that holds profound significance, she replied, her tone reassuring. Understanding the why behind your interests is a step towards understanding your desires and identity. Her words emboldened me, and with a deep breath I continued, It's not just bras. I've always been captivated by their delicate designs, the intricate lace, the way they're both strong and soft. They embody femininity in a way that's empowering. Marianne's nod conveyed her appreciation for my honesty. And are there any other articles of clothing you've thought about exploring? She gently probed. The air between us held a charged stillness as her question hung in the air. I looked into Marianne's eyes, finding an ocean of acceptance within them. With a mixture of anticipation and relief, I confessed, Yes, Marianne, there are other things. High heels, maybe, and lingerie. A knowing smile graced her lips, her understanding palpable. Exploring lingerie can be a way to embrace your sensuality, your own expression of beauty, she said, her words a testament to her unwavering support. And high heels, they hold a transformative power, don't they? They alter posture. They command attention. Her words resonated with me, as if she was weaving my desires into the fabric of her wisdom. With each confession, I felt a sense of liberation, a release of the fantasies that had long simmered within me. Marianne's presence had become a catalyst, inviting me to delve deeper into the recesses of my desires and emerge unburdened by shame or inhibition. Thank you, Marianne, I whispered, my voice laced with gratitude. Opening up like this has been freeing. She smiled, her gaze a warm reassurance. Danny, your journey of self-discovery is a beautiful thing, and I'm honored to walk this path with you. Marianne turned to me with a playful glint in her eyes. Danny, I know that venturing into uncharted waters can be both exhilarating and daunting, but I have an idea, something I think you'll find intriguing. 
my curiosity piqued. I leaned forward, my gaze locked onto hers. What is it, Marianne? She grinned, her excitement contagious. I want to surprise you tomorrow. I've planned something that I believe will help you learn even more about yourself, about your desires and passions. A surge of anticipation welled within me, a mixture of excitement and uncertainty. What is it? I asked, unable to contain my eagerness. Marianne's smile held a touch of mystery. I'm not going to reveal it just yet, Danny. I want it to be a surprise, but I promise you it's something that will allow you to explore a new facet of your identity. Her words hung in the air, an invitation to embrace the unknown with an open heart. With Marianne as my guide, I knew that whatever lay ahead would be a journey of self-discovery, an opportunity to peel away more layers of my desires and unearth the essence of who I truly was. The morning sun filtered through the curtains, casting a warm and golden glow across the room. As I woke up, a flutter of excitement coursed through me. Today was the day Marianne had promised to surprise me, to lead me further along the path of self-discovery. Making my way to the living room, I found Marianne already there, sipping her coffee. Her eyes met mine, and a playful smile tugged at the corners of her lips. Ready? she asked, her voice infused with a sense of adventure. I nodded, my heart racing with a mixture of anticipation and curiosity. Marianne motioned for me to close my eyes, and I complied, trusting her completely. With a gentle touch, she guided me through the house, leading me to her room. Okay, you can open your eyes now, Marianne announced. As I opened my eyes, I was met with a sight that took my breath away. Her room had been transformed into a haven of possibilities. Wigs of various styles adorned mannequin heads, each one a canvas for a different identity. Lacy bras and delicate lingerie lay elegantly displayed, like pieces of art waiting to be embraced. Rows of high heels stood proudly, each pair embodying its unique allure. I stood there, my heart swelling with a mixture of awe and gratitude. Marianne had curated a space that felt like a reflection of my innermost desires, a sanctuary where my dreams could come to life. Tears of overwhelming emotion welled up in my eyes. Marianne turned to me, her expression a blend of warmth and understanding. Danny, she said softly, Today is about embracing your desires, about exploring the facets of yourself that have been waiting to be seen. I want you to know that this is a safe space, a canvas for your self-expression. Touched by her words, I nodded, struggling to find my voice amidst the surge of emotions. Thank you, Marianne. I can't believe you've done all of this. A genuine smile graced her features. I've seen the spark in your eyes. The way your heart leaps when you talk about these things. This is your journey, Danny, and I'm here to guide you every step of the way. With her support anchoring me, I approached the display with a newfound sense of determination. I picked up a wig, feeling its texture between my fingers, imagining the persona it could help me embody. I trailed my fingers over the lace of a bra, appreciating its delicate craftsmanship understanding the blend of strength and vulnerability it symbolized. Marianne's presence was a steady reassurance, her encouragement a symphony of empowerment that echoed in the air. She stepped closer, her voice a gentle whisper. Danny, today is about more than just clothing and accessories. It's about exploring the dimensions of your identity, about letting yourself fully inhabit the person you want to become. As her words settled within me, a sense of liberation surged through my veins. With Marianne's guidance, I began to weave together elements that resonated with me, blending desires and aesthetics into a mosaic of self-expression. It was a process that embraced vulnerability, a dance between my innermost desires and the external world. Marianne turned to me, her eyes ablaze with a contagious enthusiasm. Danny, she said, her voice carrying a twinkle of excitement. Are you ready to embark on this transformation? A surge of courage coursed through me, and I met her gaze with a resolute nod. Yes, Marianne, I'm ready. A joyful smile curved her lips. Then let's make today a memory, a celebration of your journey of self-discovery. As the day unfolded, 
Marianne and I dove headfirst into this transformative experience. With her patient guidance, I tried on wigs that breathed life into new personas, embraced lingerie that whispered stories of sensuality and confidence, and slipped into high heels that empowered every step I took. Throughout it all, Marianne's unwavering support infused each moment with a sense of acceptance and belonging. As the afternoon sun cast its golden rays into the room, I looked at my reflection in the mirror. The woman looking back at me was a fusion of dreams and desires, a testament to the power of self-discovery and the beauty of embracing one's authentic self. Marianne stepped beside me, her eyes shimmering with pride. You are beautiful, Danny, she said, her voice a soothing affirmation. This is a chapter of your journey, one that holds the essence of who you are becoming. Tears of gratitude filled my eyes, and I turned to Marianne, wrapping my arms around her in a heartfelt embrace. Thank you, I whispered, my voice choked with emotion. Now that you're a beautiful woman, Marianne's voice was a tender whisper. I can't call you Danny anymore. Which name do you feel resonates with your new identity, Daniela or Danica? The question hung in the air like a delicate petal, waiting to be plucked by my heart's yearning. Each name held its own charm, its own essence that could shape the woman I was becoming. With Marianne's guidance, I could embrace the name that resonated most deeply with the person I was meant to be. I paused, my heart fluttering with a mixture of excitement and contemplation. Daniela, a name that carried a lyrical elegance, a reminder of the journey I had embarked upon. Danica, a name that exuded strength and grace, a testament to the courage it took to embrace my desires. Closing my eyes for a brief moment, I allowed my heart to speak. The name that emerged felt like a whispered secret, a truth unveiled amidst the warmth of Marianne's presence. Danica, I said, a smile forming on my lips as the name rolled off my tongue. Marianne's eyes sparkled with delight, her smile mirroring my own. Danica, she repeated, the name weaving its way into the tapestry of our shared journey. It suits you perfectly. Hope you enjoyed this story, and if you're looking for a daily escape into the world of cross-dressing, subscribe now and enjoy new stories every single day.